Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Talk Special Economic Zones. I'm your host, Ainsley Brown. In this episode, we're going to talk about special economic zones as an ecosystem of trust. Now, special economic zones are, you can say, are an economy um, that's been um, put on steroids or been is hyper focused meaning many of the things that you find in a the regular economy you find in the in the zone and it's a microcosm so um and it's often done so that certain reforms that would take a little bit longer to implement on a wider economic scale across a, a full economy can be implemented in a in a uh, smaller geographic space so uh, better ease of doing business and 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 such and so forth ease uh, better customs um, in terms of faster customs procedures simplified customs procedures and the like now with all of that comes the critical area of trust we don't think of it much but there has to be that understanding that or, or framework actually that allows for this trust to be um, built and fostered and you know nourished and nurtured um, and in many ways it's 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 um, a series of contracts um, that function together or, or or a series of I guess in terms of legislation and so forth that come together that allow it to, to, to functions so you have like a developer who's developing a zone it, it, they have their occupants that occupy and do the commercial activity there has to be that trust from the developer that my occupants are going to pay me on time there has to be that that trust or else you would never let them into your zone right Likewise, the occupants must trust the developer to provide them with the space um, that they need to conduct their commercial operations and, and the other ancillary services that are required to facilitate them. Likewise, the regulator who oversees the, the entire um, framework has to have um, that certain level of trust um, in the, the, the folks that are going to be using the regime that for the most part, they won't violate or knowingly violate. Some do, and some come in and, and will try all kinds of different shenanigans, but there has to be that level of trust or else you'd never let anyone into the regime. Likewise, there has to be that trust from the um, the users of the, um, the regime, the occupants, the developers, or any other nomenclature you want to use, the investors, that the regulators are going to give them a fair shake are not going to be draconian are not going to um be arbitrary are going to be uh, clear and transparent in whatever they do so yes they violated something but they're being dealt with in a fair honest um way and not arbitrary um you know following the rule of law not 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 just you know arbitrary rules are making it up on as, as you go around the spot within this ecosystem um, and this is when there are very good functional the functional zones zones that are working well th this ecosystem is working well just like a natural ecosystem whenever when things are in balance and everything is working you have lower transaction costs you have low lower regulatory costs right because one the regulator themselves is spending less to regulate but then also people are spending less to comply because the rules are very simple very easy to 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 follow and are transparent right um, likewise um, when you have people either investing their money through equity or or debt in terms of lending money um, the, the, the the transaction costs are, are much lower or even when you start to trade between because you know you whether goods or services you trust the other party to pay you in full and on time in addition you you trust the other parties not to um corrupt the supply chain with um guns drugs um weapons of mass destruction um or dirty money right so 
um, zones are in many ways, just like they're used to, to test out reforms, they are used to test out trust or ought to be, which then can be rolled out. And it should not be something that's taken for granted because it really does matter, right? Uh, this ecosystem of trust. And it's not something that should be taken for granted. It's something that can um, easily be lost, but it's something that we you have to work on every day, basically, to cultivate. Now, if you like this episode, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below um, if you want me to do a particular episode on a particular topic. Bye for now.